There's also, I think, um, an underlying um, uh, misunderstanding of cost and price. Um, I think the sector, um, just in its sort of essence, is a very collegial area. You know, academically, we collaborate all the time, and we think that that can transfer in a very collegial and collaborative way into administrative um, areas. But the reality is that it's, it's much more uh, financially driven. And knowing what your cost base is to start off with and knowing what price you should be charging the other party, I think, is an essential ingredient. And I don't think there's a very clear understanding of that at the moment. Mm. And that's one of the key barriers. One of the things that we definitely noticed through the process at Sussex with catering and, 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 and uh, facilities management was precisely that, that we actually didn't have as good a handle as we needed to in the first place. And that was one of the huge bits of work, was really to understand exactly how much it was costing. Yeah. And so therefore we had some benchmark against which we could judge the notion of value for money or improvement in service or whatever or whatever. And it quite, I think it quite surprised us that we, yeah. because we're pretty well run. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. I mean yeah. there's, lots, actually, yeah, there's lots of hidden costs out there that yeah. you, don't, you don't actually, when you think about it, well, I'm having to pay um, um, money for this space that I'm occupying. That often doesn't come out in, a, in an I&E mm. account. Mm. Uh, and actually, I mean, Tim is, uh, is, through Janet, is managing something which is looking at exactly those problems around IT costs, because nobody has got a real handle on what their IT costs at a granular enough level to take something out and say, actually, if we take that and, and, and get it delivered to us in another way. What are the costs that we are taking out and what are the costs that we're going to incur from the, the service provider? Nobody really understands that. And, and, and until what you've got is, uh, is rolled out more and that people understand their costs, it actually acts as a blocker to, to moving forward. Is your sense that's something that's particular to universities or do you think that's something that's actually quite common across all large organisations? In a, in a shared service sense, the way a consultant would start would say, what does this process actually start? And, and build the shared service on efficient process design. Uh, Organisations, and there are uh, horror stories in the media uh, where shared services simply have failed, and that's been because diverse systems have been bolted together without getting the, the, the foundation processes sorted out first. But most universities don't have much idea of how much does it cost to process a student's grade profile, how much does it cost to process a student's application, uh, a student inquiry, a certification, mm -hmm. yeah. and all of those things would need to be got hold of before we can actually take things forward. Where shared services have worked in higher education at the big picture level, UCAS, Janet, it's sector-wide, you're achieving the economies of scale. At a, at a micro level, you're not necessarily going to get those economies of scale uh, between two collaborating institutions. Well, also, presumably, neither of those were set up on the basis of sharing costs, were they? were set up on the basis of achieving some big external objective, i.e. admissions or i.e. Well, and, and perhaps that's the answer. They did reduce costs as well. I mean, But that wasn't the objective. I mean, yeah. Well, was it, was part, part 25 years ago, yeah, because the cost of circuits was very expensive, so people actually got together at some conference okay. and said we could save some costs here. But it did actually up the ante on the collaboration as well. I mean, I, I think this thing about understanding costs, I mean, firstly, people need to know their business. I mean, I'm plugging my book now, Marshall's Five Factors, but the second one, which... which Marshall's model, Five Factors. Five Factors. Michael Porter has five forces, I have five factors. But the second one is know your numbers. And when I did this at UCIS for about three years ago, that got massive resonance that people did not understand their numbers. You know, this, is, this has been like a, like a handout business for years with lots of money coming from funding councils and being passed down and people actually not knowing how to use it. So they've never had to worry about their numbers. So even institutions with very distinguished finance directors have almost got into a cash flow budgeting thing. It's not a P&L budgeting, as you would expect in a commercial business. So I suppose the biggest thing I noticed when I came from the, the American multinational to this sector and from a dot-com to this sector is that people really didn't understand their costs. So people will say, I will build a data center there because I've got a bit of real estate on the university, and they hadn't actually thought, you talk about student experience, wouldn't it be rather better to build a, a leisure centre or a gym or something that the students physically need to go to? Why the hell do you build a data centre there, which you can stick anywhere? Stick them in Iceland, and then you can get a few green ticks in the boxes as well. Yeah. So, but I do think, and the, the work that uh, Steve alludes to is where we are working with the British University's Finance Directors Group to actually help people to understand their real costs so that then they can make judgments and say, actually, doing a shared service, even, even if I have to pay VAT, is still mm. a lot more efficient mm. because they actually know their real costs. Mm. Oh, well, we've already paid for that. Hang on. So you've paid for it, so it has a cost. Mm. You know, mm. and it's, so I think there's progress being made yeah, there. there